Move to online sales with Eric Miller and Jeff Gump. Take the hassle out of youth and high school sports photography. No more order forms. Less labor with larger sales. A live demonstration of our safe, contactless, and touchless photography system. In this class, you will learn about the data you will need, capturing the photos, and how the data and images are automatically tied together. You will also learn about the online ordering process. Now, a little bit about your speakers. Jeff Gump is based in St. Augustine, Florida. He has 31 years experience in volume photography, growing from a one-person startup to a million-dollar operation. An in-demand speaker at industry conferences, Gump has served as the chair of the Volume Speaker Selection Committee for Imaging USA, the PPA convention. Eric Miller has over two decades of volume photography experience and is a nationally recognized speaker, business, and marketing coach. Miller and his wife Yvonne own a successful youth sports and school photography company in New Orleans, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Jeff Gump. And I'm Eric Miller with Speaking Volume. If this is your first time, we welcome you and we thank you for attending. Remember to support the vendors and sponsors, you know, and thank the speakers and thank the presenters who take away a lot of time from their personal business to be here sharing with you. I know I'm very appreciative of all the other speakers as well. Absolutely. So, uh, so let's get started. Who okay. wants to uh, book more business, earn more money, and work less? I know I do. I think you hooked me. So how would you like to photograph this many athletes and when the photography is done, you're finished? You walk away, you get to go to the bar and have a daiquiri. The bar. Or margarita. Hey, why not? Or wait, what do you, what do you drink, those Moscow mules or something That's like that? That's exactly, Moscow. everybody knows me in my Moscow mule cup. Moscow mules, there you go. So, so we're going to organize, we're going to shoot, and then we're going to walk away because we are done. So what we're going to do is we're going to let technology work for you. No cards to upload or back up, no forms to process, no cash or checks to deposit, no batching out credit cards, almost 0% errors because, you know, everything is being typed in by mom, and instant digital delivery right to mom's cell phone. Now let's go back 30 years. Let's talk about, for those of you who have been in the business as long as I have, we were shooting manual focus cameras. We were shooting 36 exposure film. So we're getting 18 kids on a roll of film. Mm -hmm. uh, so football team, a couple of rolls. And we had to come back to the office. We had to bundle our film together and send it off to the lab. And before we did that, we had log sheets. It was like a carbon sheet. So we had to put the kids first and last name. Everything had to be handwritten. First and last name, put an X by the package if they had trading cards and so forth, get it all ready and send it out. It was no automatic. It was no send it to the lab let the lab do it for you it was absolutely crazy so people these days are so fortunate and with what we're talking about today it, it's going to blow their mind it's mind-blowing the technology that we have today a absolutely yeah so so Eric, tell me why you converted your business to online um it, e easy all the steps that you just said you know which are current as well as you know ty typing in order forms and backing up cards and all that kind of stuff that takes a lot of time and I think it's wasted. So we're trying to be more efficient and we're gonna let technology work for us. I mean, that's the whole idea behind that. So like many photographers, we're a family business. Most of our photographer friends, they can relate to it. We have to do everything. We gotta print the order forms, we gotta pass out the forms, we gotta collect the money, we gotta create the deposit, we gotta to go to the bank. Uh, we have to deal with the occasional, occasional bad check or credit card uh, that's declined. Then after the shoot, we have to upload the photos, back up the card, and then we have to process the forms while trying to read some really bad handwriting on some of these order forms. Um, then if you're printing in-house, you have to produce the packages, maintain the printer, pay the software licensing fee, order the paper, order ink. Uh, it, it's just crazy, order envelopes. And again, like, like many photographers, in order to keep up with this process, it required a lot of hours. Sometimes my wife and my daughter would stay up till midnight on many nights, right? Just trying to process all the orders so that we could keep a two or three week turnaround. And to be honest with you, we never did. It was always more like three or four weeks. Eric, I talk to people every week. Mm -hmm. 
that spend that kind of time, you know, till two and three in the morning. It's it's wrecked marriages. Uh, a lot of people have gotten out of the business because th- they it took a toll on their body. Right. Um, so I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, it was taking a toll on our family. So, you know, we just couldn't sustain that amount of work. So about two years ago, I started investigating and interviewing labs and software companies. So what I found was the only lab that could handle everything in-house. We wanted just one company to one, deal one with. One shop stop. One, sh- one stop shop. So once we experienced a demonstration of the whole system, um, we were hooked. It was just unbelievable. So we're going to do a demonstration in a little while. It's just going to knock your socks off. So no more staying up all hours of the night processing order forms. No more packaging orders and mailing them. No more emailing photos. So in other words, one company that could do our photo capture, one that could do instant uploading of the photos to their servers, so now I don't have to worry about the images. Once it's confirmed that they're on, it's on their servers, we are good to go. Now I don't have to back up camera cards. And the photos are now delivered instantly to the parents, literally while we are still at the job, moms will receive those photos on their cell phones. But I'm still hearing people talk about um, going out and shooting, you know, some of the online companies, mm-hmm. uh, going back to their office, still doing post-production, um, and then uploading it a couple of days later or a day later. You're saying you don't have to do any of that. You don't have to do any of that. So we, we, we have a saying, it's called shoot to sell. So what we do is we empower our photographers to make sure that they're shooting the photos correctly at the job site. They have to get the exposure correct, the white balance correct, they got to pose them correctly, they got to crop the pictures correctly. So the idea is to do all that on site, on picture day, and since they have a tablet connected to the camera, they can instantly see a nice size, basically it's a four by six uh, picture that they can see on the tablet and they can see if there's any issues. So shoot to sell is our motto. And then again, once we do that, we walk away. And we've had moms tell us that they actually receive the text, they place their order before they even leave the parking lot at a soccer league one time. I I got it on video where I can show y'all. So now all we do is we create the job, upload the data. If we don't have data, we have another way around that, so we'll talk about that in a few minutes. And we shoot the job. Again, after the job, we go and have daiquiris and prepare for the next job. That's pretty much it. Why don't you show me an example of the system? All right, let's do a demonstration of the system. I have a couple of students here. We're going to bring them in. We'll show you how the whole system works uh, from capturing the photos to delivery. Okay, so we'll give you an example of how the system works. We've got our camera, our tablet, and our scanner. And today we have three siblings that have come in to have their photographs taken. So we'll start off with Wesley. Come on in, Wesley. Go ahead and take this and scan it for us, please. All right, perfect. And take your mask off and put it on your wrist for us, please. Come right on around here. Step right there on the two red feet and look straight at Mr. Eric. All right, so as you can see here, the capture window has come up. We've already taken a couple of sample pictures. We wanted to make sure everything was set up correctly. So as we take the picture, all right, here we go. Ready, one, two, three. We can look, oh, Wesley had his eyes closed. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hide this photo from mom. We will still have it. It'll still be on the servers. We can still use it later on if we have to, but we don't want mom to see this photo. So we're going to mark it right here, invisible. See, it turned red. So now, again, we still have it. Mom won't see it. We'll retake the picture. Here we go. All right, we have crop marks in the camera, as well as we have crop marks right here. You Look at that. Perfect. I got the chin right where it belongs. I got the top of the head right where it belongs. Lighting and all looks great. Uh, this is the picture that we're going to use for the yearbook and for their ID. So we're gonna mark it default. And then we're gonna close it out. And now we are ready for the next student. What's nice, Eric, is the fact that you can actually see the image in a nice four by six size. Yes. So you, you can see exactly what it's gonna look like right. before you send the... Uh, right. You can see things like, like hair, glasses. Um, glasses. You can, you can check for glasses, glare. You can check all that kind of stuff easier 
on this tablet than you can on the back of the screen. Okay, Wesley, you're all set. Thank you. All right, it's Maddie's turn. Go ahead and scan your barcode there. Uh, bring it a little lower so it makes a beep. That's good. It beeped. All right, come right over. Take your mask off. Put it on your wrist. Put both feet on the red spot there and look back at Mr. All Eric. right, here we go. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. All right, so this is what we noticed right here. It's easy to see right here on the tablet. Not so much on her. She's got a big piece of hair right there coming right down the middle of her head. We want to move it. There we go. Again, we're going to mark this one invisible so mom doesn't see it. Um, because even though mom sees it, if, if mom saw that picture, she'd still complain. So we don't even want to let her see that picture, right? Now, typically, when we do the, um, the scan, the barcodes, we're going to give these to the teacher, and she's going to hand them out. Right. Today, I'm giving them to the students, but again, it's contactless. We put it on to the teacher. All right, here we go. One more time. Much better. There you see the hair is all, all looking nice. She's got a good smile. This is the photo that we're going to use. Her chin is in the right place. The top of her head is in the right place. We're going to mark this one default. And we are going to call up our next student. Now, before you do that, I have a question. Yeah. So um, her mask was on her wrist. Now, Correct. the reason you do that? Uh, well, it's part of the contactless and touchless system where we don't want to have any contact. So if we take the mask and we sit the mask in the same place all the time, yeah. then you know they could get contaminated. So we have the students just hold it in their hand. Doesn't matter. You don't see it because we're just doing headshots. Right Bingo. Now. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maddie. All right, Julian, you're the last one. Go ahead and take that. Scan it for us real quick. All right. Awesome. Very take good. Take your mask off. Put it on your wrist and come stand right there on the two red We're going to lower the camera just a little bit because Julian is a little shorter than his older brother. Well, we can see there's glare. And here's the reason why. So the glare that you see here is from the, uh, the TV lights that we have that we're using right now. The glare is not from the, uh, from the strobe. But this is a good way that you can actually see glare. You can make them take their glasses, tilt them up just a little bit. You can have them lean forward and lean their head down just a little bit. There's a couple of tricks that you can do to make sure that you get rid of uh, glasses glare. Uh, in this case, just for the demonstration, because we have the TV lights on in here, we're, we can't get rid of the glasses glare right now. But we can take pictures of siblings. We can take pictures of uh, cousins, buddies. This also works for youth sports. So a lot of time you have youth sports, you have um, cousins, or you do the coach in a player picture. So we're going to show you how we do a buddy shot. It just right, happens guys, to be come on back kids. in. Go ahead and put you on your wrist. Come on back in, Wesley and Maddie. Wesley, I'm going to put you on this side over here. Turn a little bit. Come right, right in there. So I'm going to take so gonna go uh, Wesley's way. barcode ticket, go. and I'm just going to scan it once. All right, go ahead and put your hands down to your side. Now, I don't need to actually scan that barcode ticket. I can just look up on the tablet the kids' names. So now what I'm going to do, so let's say that these are three uh, cousins. All right. So we're going to add all three kids together. We're going to take one picture. And if they were cousins, had different moms, all the moms would see this picture in their gallery and they could order it. So we have Wesley. So we need to add Julian. Need to add one more. And we're going to add Maddie. So as you can see right here, we have Wesley, the main, uh, the main student. And we added Julian. And we added um, Madeline. Maddie. 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 We call her Maddie. Where's those smiles, guys? All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. All right. Perfect. There you go. So, uh, wait, let me take it. They're off the backdrop. So, let me zoom in just a little bit more so I can, I don't have to, I don't want to have to Photoshop any backdrop. Here we go. Okay, again, so we're going to go to this photo. We're going to mark it invisible uh, so mom doesn't see it. This is, that's a good sibling photo. Next, we're going to show you an actual live demonstration we did last year at one of our schools as a promotional video. Today, we're over at one of our schools demonstrating our new View First photo system. The system is super, super fast. There is no other photographer in the New Orleans, Jefferson Parish areas 
that offers this system. Let me give you a demonstration of it. So, we just took their daughter's pictures a second ago, you saw it. This is about four or five minutes and something like that. And they just received their text messages. So let's take a look at the text messages real quick. So there you go, so they got the text. All right, go ahead and click on your link. All right, very good. Okay, sure. so there are her two proofs. Those are the two pictures we literally just took minutes ago. She can place her order, so go ahead and uh, continue to order. Yep, just pick that one right there. That's a good package right there. We'll be back in just a minute. They're gonna go ahead and put their credit card information in there, and we're gonna show you how fast the digital photo is delivered to them in just a minute. Here we go. All right, we'll be back. So about five minutes or so has passed. Uh, they went ahead and placed their order. So now we're just waiting for the email to come to them that has the link for the uh, download. How long did it take? Two minutes, three minutes at the most. So you should pretty much have it. Oh my God, I got it, look. There you go. Oh look, here's mine. So fast. So how do you think about this new system? So the whole idea here is to get moms their pictures faster because this is what y'all want. So we literally took the pictures 10, 12 minutes ago. They received the proof. They paid for their package. They already have the email where they can download the digital. So within about 15 minutes, the whole process is done. They can take the pictures and they can post them on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. So what, what, do you, what is your opinion of this system? This is great. I don't have to keep trying to paperwork. No paperwork. That's correct. Yeah. So, so we don't send order forms home. So we don't have to worry about missing money coming back to the school or missing order forms. And to top all this whole thing off, the cherry on top of this cake, is that the photos are being mailed directly to your house. Right. So we don't bring them back to the school for the school teacher to have to pass them out. Then they get put in the book bag. Exactly, they get crinkled up in the backpack. So, so this is our new system. As you can see, that it was a pretty impressive demonstration. Again, that was live at an actual school. Within 15 minutes, the whole process was completed and those moms received their digital downloads. So what's important about uh, doing contactless and touchless is that we need data from the school as well. So let's talk about data. All right, data is very important in a system like this. So we need a couple of things. We either need the league of the school to give us information ahead of time. We know it's tough to get email addresses and cell phone numbers out of schools. It's just something you have to try to negotiate up front. Um, if not, you need at least a minimum for schools. You need first name, last name, student ID number, grade, and teacher homeroom. So once you input all that, into here then we take the pictures on picture day and then we print out a form that shows each individual kids uh, pin number and then we send that flyer home with mom now it's real simple for mom she doesn't have to do anything she goes to our website she types in that pin number and the photos come right up it's a little extra step but that's only for those occasions where schools uh, sports leagues won't give you data ahead of time okay so let's say you're on a school picture day or a sports picture day or you're doing senior pictures dance school it, it doesn't matter so you have one uh, child that wasn't registered no problem so we're going to register them right here on the tablet we're going to add a registrant in this case we're going to do Jeff's name uh, so we're going to put Jeff Gump We're going to add his phone number and his email address. All 
All right, it is that simple. Now we add participant. The, the photo window comes up, and now we're going to ask Mr. Gump to go stand on the red feet right there so we can take his picture. All right, so now that we have entered uh, Jeff's information into the tablet, it is syncing with the server as we speak right now. So I'm going to take Jeff's photo. We raise the camera up just a little bit because you know, he's a little taller than Julian was. And let's see if the pro can get rid of that glasses glare just a little bit right there. Almost like he knows what he's doing. Look at that. That looks perfect. So we're going to mark that as default. We're going to close that out. And here's one of the things you can see right here. So all the 12 of the other photos that we took have already uploaded from the pictures we took a minute ago. There's only one photo left. Oh, that photo is already uploaded. So all the photos have uploaded from the uh, pictures that we just took. Again, the green line means that we are online right now. So let's talk about uh, no Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi. So you do need Wi-Fi in order for this system to work um, as, as, it, uh, as it does right now. If you don't have Wi-Fi, don't sweat it. It's not a big deal. Everything is saved on the tablet. So when you get back to your studio, you log into the event and you start the photo upload process. It's very, very simple. Don't sweat it. Whether you have Wi-Fi or you don't have Wi-Fi, that's not an issue. If you don't have data, it's not an issue. We can add them. If you have data, your photo shoots just go a little faster. So Jeff should receive that photo in just a few minutes. How long does it normally take, Eric? Um, anywhere from a minute to four or five minutes. It just depends on how busy the network is, um, cell phone service. Um, what I can tell you is that I've had uh, moms literally at a school. We took the child's picture. They received the photos in Got just it. a few minutes. Got, Got it. it? Yes. So look, less than two minutes, Jeff has received the email. Coming up right now. There you go. And there you want to get a little closer to the camera there? Maybe we can see it on the camera. Look at that. So that's the picture we just took of Jeff a second ago. So he could see that photo, place his order right now, and within another minute or two, he'll get that digital download because he ordered it within our time limit that we have that we set for that. That's pretty and cool. And I huh? hit uh, order and it's got a lot of nice little products. It's got Christmas gifts because that's where we're at right now. Uh, all different kind of products, um, packages. There they all are, all the school packages. So let me talk about packages for a second. Okay. So what we did was we eliminated standard picture day packages. You know, the uh, a single 8x10, 4 5x7s, and 16 wallets or 32 wallets or whatever it was. We eliminated that. And the reason we did that is because we asked parents what they wanted. Their number one complaint was, we don't want these photos. We like, we want 8x10. I want more 5x7s. I don't need any wallets. Or I want 36 wallets. You know, you, you never know what mom uh, may want. So what we have is strictly what's called, oops, a create your own package. As you can see here on the screen, we give mom the option of ordering three, four, five, or six sheets as she wants. If we have multiple poses in the case of uh, youth sports or, you know, uh, grade pictures, you know, cap and gown pictures, we take a lot of different poses for cap and gown pictures. So mom can order four sheets. She can use four different photos on those four different nice. sheets. Nice. And then she can pick if she orders within the deadline, she'll get that free digital download. She can pick which one she wants. Now, of course, if she wants all downloads, we have an option for all downloads as well. Plus, we're the only photographer that I know that has an all digital package, 100% digital. So for our schools, we give them three different versions of the photo that they check, uh, color, black and white, and one that has a name across it. So that's the three versions they get. For our sports leagues, it's crazy. They can have um, different backgrounds for each one of the photos. So that's how we handle packages. Again, this is all stuff that you can do. You can't do with a paper envelope. Um, and you get more sales because mom has more options to choose from. Key, more options. Okay, so you shot me on a white background and you yes. mentioned different backgrounds. How does ah, that work? Good, good. So uh, we stopped using green screen. Um, Right? I mean, everybody complains about green screen. It's kind of hit or miss. 
Um, we, set up, we have this set up here. We can set up this school system in five minutes. We even put where they put the tape down where the students or the athletes will be walking across the mat. So as you can see, we have the light right here. We'd say how high I want the light, what power setting we want on the light. That's your starting point. As you come a little further down the, uh, the mat, you'll see we have the tablet and we have the camera settings. Again, ready to go. Put the camera right on top of it. And then you come a little further down and you see we have the uh, red feet. So we tell the students to stand on the red feet. And we tell them to face the star. So that way we're not doing a mug shot. Their body is facing about a 30 or 40 degree angle. And we ask them just to turn their head back. Take a couple of pictures and you're done. And then we also have marked where the actual backdrop goes. And you can see that we've marked it with two different size backdrops, smaller backdrop and a larger backdrop. So this mat really helps with setup. It gives you all the starting points for the photographers and um, you can come in, set up super, super quick. Okay, let's talk about shipping. We know what a hassle that is for the schools. So we include shipping in our prices, kind of like um, you know, Amazon, you know, they know they have to ship, they know they have to pay sales tax, so that's how our program works as well. And the lab that we use for our program charges $1.55 for shipping, you know, on an average, and we charge anywhere from $4 to $4.50, which gives us an opportunity to make $2.50 to $3 ourselves um, back, and then we take that money and we use that towards our commission back to the school. So it is a revenue source as far as shipping, and it takes the hassle completely out of the photographer as well as the school. Equipment requirements are pretty simple. Tablet, camera, cable, and a barcode scanner. That pretty much is everything you need to do this. So we use Windows 10 tablets, has to be a Windows 10 tablet. We use the Microsoft Surface uh, series of them. This is the Pro version. I use it because I'm kind of old, my eyes are really bad. Um, but we use the Microsoft Goes. You can expect to spend anywhere from uh, 550, 600 bucks to about 800 bucks for a tablet. Um, one tablet will pay for itself in the first job. Quick and easy. Uh, you'll need a cable, a USB cord to plug the tablet into the uh, camera. And remember, these are specific to each camera. Uh, just because you have Canon cameras or Nikon cameras, it's crazy about how many different connectors the different series of cameras have. So make sure you get the correct uh, connectors. Uh, you'll need a recent DSLR um, camera as well as some mirrorless cameras now. They're adding Sony's. Uh, and then, of course, you will need a bracket to mount this to the tripod to make it really simple. So some of the optional equipment you'll need, an internet connection, very important. It's required to pull in the data for new registrations. So when we're out on picture day, we use this cheap Amazon tablet. This is 35, 40 bucks from Amazon. All you need is a web browser to add a registration, to register someone on site. So we'll pull their name, we'll pull up the job here, we'll add the student or the athlete right here. Within a few minutes, it will sync with the tablet on the camera. And to do that, you need an internet connection to do that. So um, it's also good, uh, it's required if you're offering online prepay or registrations at the event, which we would use this for. And of course, it's required to upload the images while you're photographing. So as you saw, as we were taking pictures, uh, just picture uploaded probably within a minute. And another minute later, he could see it on his phone. For some of the optional equipment is a barcode scanner. Very important. This saves time on looking up the subject's name. You can, you can look on the tablet and look up their name, but if you just scan their barcode ticket real quick, it pulls them up, take their picture, you're ready to go. Uh, scanning pulls up the subject without having to find a list, especially helpful when taking uh, school portraits of little kids. Uh, you know, they, they know their name, they can't spell it, they talk real soft, 
So this is required. It's really simple. Um, and all the information goes right into core ahead of time. So let's talk about the cost to not do this. So let's say you want to bear, uh, compare this to using order forms. Well, an order form takes about three minutes per participant to key the name, order data, and from a paper order form. Three minutes. Time it yourself. We have. Example, 250 uh, baseball kids. It's going to take an hour to manage, review, and upload the images. It's going to take 30 minutes to organize the order forms. It's going to take 12 and a half hours to key punch the information. And then we have another 30 minutes to upload, check the queue, transmit the orders to the lab, and then a few minutes to activate on retail and start the email campaigns. That's 14 and a half labor hours eliminated by going paperless. So here's some other cost savings. Order forms are going to cost you about 82 cents a piece. 250 athletes, that's 205 bucks you just saved. That $205 goes right to your bottom line profit. That's not including printing the time and to hand them out. Uh, the ones that get lost, you, you know you'll, you'll bring 100 order forms to a league. Coaches will let them sit in their car until the day of picture day, and then that's kind of useless. So likely more than 250 with the lost forms uh, you'll, it will never get handed out. It's just crazy. So a tablets or small laptops, 150, 300 bucks. 10 events of 250 athletes, that's $2,050 in order forms, and you can use them only once. So you just wasted $2,050, and you could buy 8 to 10 tablets or laptops and do everything online, do the job, and you walk away. It really is a huge benefit. Saving hours per job saves you time of keying in yourself, saves you money if you're paying others to key orders in. It gets the orders to your customers faster. As you saw in Jeff's case, it literally, within a couple of minutes, he had that photo on his phone. It allows you more time to book new business. It really is a win, win, win for everybody. Well, you know, the hardest thing for me was I was doing prepay for so many years. Sure. And, you know, four or five years ago, um, you know, it was, hey, let's get away from paperless. Um, let's put everything online. And back in, uh, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, there was not a chance, period, that I was putting my images online. Right. Um, because I didn't want the photographers to know what leagues I was shooting. Um, moms, you know, they didn't have the technology. Um, they, you know, it takes, you know, this is, there's learning curves here, okay? There's definitely learning curves, um, but we're two or three years into this yes. now, so most of our customers kind of know how to do it. Um, but the time that it saves us, the amount of employees that it saves us, um, the convenience for the parents, they yes. absolutely love it. That's what really makes the biggest difference. Yes. Let, let me mention this. So, um, moving from paper order forms, it, it takes a, a, a different mindset. You have to change your mindset. Okay, because like you said, you, you've done it for so many years, that's just the way it was done. So, you have to get in your mind that it's a different process and it may not work very first time, but communication is one million percent how this works. So you can't convert a league today, take their pictures next week. You, you can't do it. You will fail. No doubt. I, I proved it. One of our very first leagues was like last minute. Didn't work. Now we know that we have to communicate with the parents. We have great flyers that we send out uh, ahead of time before uh, picture day. It says exactly how the process works. It shows what our packages are. We tell them, don't bring any money on picture day. You get to see the photos, and now you have choice. Moms love that they can have a choice and that they can see the pictures on picture day. So the photographer has to change their mindset on how picture day works. Um, touching every single photo, that kind of slows down. Um, delivery of the photos, you certainly can but we prefer to do what we call shoot to sell, as we spoke about earlier. Now, we had, we've had some companies that have tried this, mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, their branding is on everything. 
Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we're fortunate enough is who we work with is it's our brand. Our brand. All emails come out with our name on it instead of servicing another company. And and tell them a little bit, Eric, about the the prepay cards. You know, people are talking about um, what about getting some prepay money up front. Tell them what you're doing now. So what we have is we have uh, gift cards. They're just a regular gift card. Looks looks just like a gift card. Um, and we give moms or we give families the option to buy a $25 gift card for $20. Uh, we do a $50 gift card for 40, I believe, and then we do a hundred for like no, no, 75 or something. Yep. Um, and this, this has really turned out to be good for us. Uh, it's, they're very profitable because as you know, some gift cards, you know, ne never get used. Uh, the balance doesn't always get used. Now, we let, we let families use them anytime they want. They don't expire. As long as you have it, you can use it any time. Uh, and we're very fortunate that we actually get quite a few people that want to buy them. Um, they hand them to grandma. So they can send the link to grandma. They can send grandma the link to the gift card. She can order. We'll send the photos right to grandma. So that's kind of helping out prepay because you can yes. literally go out to a shoot prior to and have right. a couple thousand dollars Before already you in your bank. Before you go. So that's a big deal. Yeah. And remember also, uh, one of the things that's, that you're probably thinking, well, shoot, I shoot the pictures. They get it on their tablet. Well, what if they don't order right away? Well, in three days, they're going to get an email that says, hey, remember, your pictures are up and the, the deadline on maybe on the free digital download is coming to an end. And then if they don't order, uh, let's say they do order, then their name comes off the database. And then on day number five, they get another email, another reminder. And then they might get one on day Day number 10 and number 14 all the way up for about a month they're going to get little reminders now keep in mind if somebody orders they go away it's only the people that didn't and the images are held for 10 years wait I'm sorry they just updated it 15 years now 15 years 15 years 15 years and you've seen some of the companies over the years I mean you go into your friend's house and you look on the wall and you see the pictures from first grade to 12th grade well, if we're doing these same customers, we're going to have that same same access to those photos for the parents because you never know. I mean, you know, once or uh, twice a year, something happens maybe to one of our students, you know, a car accident or something. We can put a nice collage together. Right, we yep. can. So, so again, um, your lab partner is uh, sending out emails on behalf of you because remember, when we're done with the shoot, when that we've photographed our last person, mm -hmm. how does it end, Eric? Uh, we we go to a bar. <laughs> Didn't we talk about that before? <laughs> no, no, just kidding. No. Uh, so it's, so once it's all over, yeah. and you're done with the shoot, what do you do at that point? Uh, we're we're done. We we walk away. We start preparing for the next job. You're saying that you don't have to go back to the office nope. and do anything with the images. I don't have to do anything with the images. You're literally done. I'm done. I don't have to back up any cards from the cameras. Um, the only thing that we do is when we get back to the office the next day, we turn all the tablets on from the job yesterday. We make sure all the images, we confirm that all the images have uploaded, but we can do that on the, on the PC as well. So can, can I go back to marketing just for a second? Of course. I'm going to blow your mind. So you may not know this, but we're actually filming this a couple of days after the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, Black Friday has already passed. Cyber Monday has already passed. So with our lab partner, they do what's called a consolidated email. So if I've taken your child's picture at a karate school, I take their school pictures, I take their soccer pictures, what we're going to do is they're going to go and look for that email address, Eric Miller. All right, how many different events does Eric Miller have photos in? They sent out uh, two emails one on Black Friday, one on Cyber Monday. So that goes out to the parents and says, hey, we got a special going on, save 15%, however you want to do the ad. So two emails, again, you can't do this with a paper order form, two emails, we raised almost $5,000 in additional sales the last couple of days, and I did nothing. Nice. I did nothing. All I did was tell my lab, Yes, send the uh, um, Black Friday and send the uh, Cyber Monday emails, add those. So it goes and looks at all the events that we've already photographed. And that's the good thing about keeping the pictures for 15 years. I mean, you, you never know when mom wants to buy something or she might get a reminder, oh, 
you know, don't forget that, you know, these images are still available. Um, well, let, let's let's say you're a control freak. I am a little. OK. And you're saying so because the, the goal here is to be able to send many teams of photographers out like the school photographers, the big guys, you know, and if we want to get up to that level and you're not there yet, you can actually be back in your office. And you can actually have a, a, a computer screen with three or four different monitors. And as the photographers are taking the photographs, they will show up on the monitor um, and you can see how your teams are doing out in the field. So if something's not going right um, for some reason, you can literally pick up your cell phone, call that the leader of that job and say, hey, camera number two or camera number three, there's an issue going on. Imagine having that kind of flexibility. That's pretty sharp. Yeah, that's, that's not... My daughter, who you know handles all those jobs, um, she can literally be sitting at her apartment on a Saturday morning while we'll have eight or ten photographers out in different uh, different areas of the city shooting different leagues. She can see every single photo that's being taken, and the way we uh, organize it, we can tell what photographer by name is taking those photos. Uh, that's that's pretty mind blowing. I don't know anybody that does that. Uh, another thing that I like um, about uh, these systems is you, you don't have to download any apps or sign up for anything on your PC. Uh, you don't have to do any of that on your cell phone. We're just using text messages and we're just using email. Something that's very simple for anybody to receive on their cell phones. Um, families really don't have to do anything. I mean, we're we're doing every, we're sending them the information, um, and we feel that's the the most efficient way of doing things because moms get busy. Dads get busy, you know, their coaches uh, or their, you know, mom is out taking the kids to dance or, you know, maybe mom has the whole team together out doing, you know, a pizza party after the game. They just get busy and they forget. Well, with our system, we're sending a reminder to them. And once they order, we stop sending them a, a reminder. Right, right. Um, so that's that's a really cool thing about the way this system works. So, um Last year um, at Imaging, they actually had this system there, yeah. and people were coming by and looking at it, and totally mind blowing. Yeah, absolutely mind blowing. So, um, so the opportunity this year is uh, when it comes to the trade show, um, just go over and visit them in their their booth, as we yeah, call their it, their virtual booth. Their virtual booth. Uh, and what company are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about Candid Color Systems. Candid Color Systems, and the name of the the uh, program is called Photo Match slash mm -hmm. uh, View First, mm -hmm. uh, and, it, and it's very exciting. I mean, again, uh, the amount of staff that you can um, uh, alleviate. I mean, we, nobody wants to do that, but when we're in small business, we don't have to hire the other people. That's right. It's incredible what the difference That's is. Right. So, um, so I'm Jeff Gump. I'm Eric Miller with Speaking Volume. And uh, we wish you a fantastic show this week. If you have uh, any questions, we'll be in the uh, group chat in just a few minutes, and we'll be in the virtual trade show. Also, you can send us an email. Here is our information. Thank and, you. And please join us uh, on our yep. Facebook Speaking Volume site, where we share lots of information over the last couple of years that you can go back to. Uh, and see some of Eric's videos and see some of the shoots that we're on and so forth. We want you to be uh, a part of our community. So please come and join us.